not spoken publicly since leaving office until now. Let's bring in CNN's Elaine Quijano. She's working the story for us. Uh, he had a good chance to uh, critique this uh, new president, did he? He did not. Uh, Wolf. And you know, it's interesting, former President Bush has really kept a low profile since leaving office. And in his first speech since then, he took a decidedly different tack than his vice president. In Calgary, Canada, former President George W. Bush passed on the chance to slam his successor in his first speech since leaving the White House. According to reports, as he spoke behind closed doors to a friendly audience of business leaders, Mr. Bush said, I want the president to succeed. I love my country more than I love politics. I'm not going to spend my time criticizing him. He deserves my silence. That echoes what he told reporters just before leaving office in January. I'm getting off the stage. I believe there ought to be, you know, one person in the Klieg lights at a time. And I've had my time in the Klieg lights. I, I wish him all the best. Despite their differences, Bush warmly welcomed Barack Obama to the White House twice after his election. And his approach since leaving office stands in sharp contrast to his former vice president, Dick Cheney. Mr. Cheney blasted President Obama on CNN's State of the Union with John King on national security and counterterrorism. Do you believe the president of the United States has made Americans less safe? I do. He's making some choices that, in my mind, will in fact raise the risk to the American people of another attack. And unlike Bush, Cheney also took direct aim at Obama's agenda. And frankly, I think the programs that he's recommended and pursuing in health care, in energy and so forth, uh, constitute um, probably the biggest or one of the biggest expansions of federal authority over the private economy in the history of the republic. Do we know uh, when he's going to be giving his first domestic speech? Yeah, you know, Wolf, we just found out from the former president's spokesman that it'll be May 28th. Former President Bush is going to be giving a speech to the Economic Club of Southwestern Michigan. No cameras allowed for that. Just like no cameras were allowed at That's this right. one in Calgary. Uh, and we do know that these speeches are booked through a, a lecture agency. We don't know how much money he received, but we can assume it's in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. As a former president of the United States, you can imagine it's probably in, the, in that but range. Based yeah. on what the Bill Clinton uh, and other former presidents received, we know he's getting a lot of money for this. Uh, we don't know if he keeps the money or gives it to his library, but we're going to find out all that information. Yes. He's not just speaking because he likes to speak. <laughs> he, they, they're, they're paying him to, to do this speaking. Thanks very much, sure. Elaine, for that. Uh, who knew what 